Another integration technique is what we call trigonometric substitutions. So, trigonometric substitution is a technique that is useful when the following uh, expressions or forms are present. a squared minus x squared, where a is any constant. a squared plus x squared at saka x squared minus a squared. When these three forms or one of these forms is present, uh, the trigonometric substitution can possibly make our lives easier. So for example, uh, let's have this integral. The integral of dx over 4 minus x squared raised to 3 over 2. Now notice na yung 4 minus x squared is actually in the form a squared minus x squared where a is equal to 2. So, pwede mo siyang i write as 2 squared minus x squared. Okay. Simulan natin yung paggamit ng trigonometric substitution. The first thing that we're gonna do is we draw a right triangle. Okay. Why a right triangle? Because it's trigonometry. Yeah. Related yun. So, let's let uh, say that the hypotenuse of this right triangle is A and the height is X. Using Pythagorean theorem, no, and you get yung Pythagorean formula natin, the bottom leg must be A squared minus X squared and then take the square root of that. So, kamukhang kamukha siya. It, it looks similar to this form. So, maybe we can use this. Now, let's say that this angle is theta. As you can see, x is equal to a sine of theta. We can use that uh, substitution dito sa equation natin. We can say, uh, we, we let x is equal to a is a constant, so 2 sine theta. And of course, get the derivative. This is 2 cosine of theta d theta. And we use this uh, substitutions doon sa original nating equation. So, dx becomes 2 cosine theta d theta. And then, we have syempre yung x is squared, di ba? That is 4 sine squared theta. So, we have at the bottom, we have 4 minus 4 sine squared theta raised to 3 over 2. And then, we do some algebra doon sa baba, realizing that 4 minus 4 sine squared theta is 4 times 1 minus sine squared theta. Mas magiging simple yung buhay natin. Remember, from trigonometry, yung 1 minus sine squared theta is also cosine squared theta. Diba? 1 minus sine squared theta equal yan sa cosine squared theta. So, gamitin natin siya doon. So, ibig sabihin, yung nasa babang part, pwede nating palitan ng 4 cosine squared theta. So, we have 2 cosine theta d theta all over 4 cosine squared theta raised to 3 over 2. And doing the exponent doon sa bottom, we can further simplify this as 2 cosine theta d theta all over uh, 8 cosine cube theta. And canceling the factors, then ilabas natin yung 2 over 8 as 1 fourth. We get 1 fourth the integral of uh, d theta over cosine squared theta or one-fourth the integral of second squared theta d theta, which is, of course, one, second squared theta, no integral nyan? Ang integral nyan ay tangent theta. Now, nakateta pa rin tayo. Tingnan natin to Ano ba ang tangent ng uh, theta dito sa figure natin? Now, we can see that the tangent of theta is 
x, no? yung opposite over yung adjacent side. So, x over yung square root ng a squared, which is 4, minus x squared. So, substituting this equation, we get the integral as 1 fourth ng x over square root of 4 minus x squared. Huwag kalimutan ang plus c. So, this is the integral. Like me video, kung ayos. Pag hindi, pag mo hindi dislike, leave ka ng comment kung bakit, ha? Sige na, subscribe.